viewers you are welcome to meet the prayer coming to you from advent cable network nigeria shall we pray you are the lord let your name be glorified you are the Lord, let your name be glorified. We give you glory and honor. You are the Lord, let your name be Glorify all we have to say, Baba O Eishe. All I have to say, Baba O Eishe. All I have to say, all I have to say. Baba o Eishe, all I have to say. Baba o Eishe, in Jesus' name we pray. Almighty and ever-loving Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you because you are a miracle God. We thank you because you are a covenant-keeping Father. We thank you because you are the Father who loves his children so much. We thank you for your provision. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for your love, your kindness upon us, upon our family, upon our church, upon your nation, O oh God. Lord, we give you all the praise for all that you have created. For the miracle of sleeping and waking up, Father, we thank you. Lord, we return all the praise and glory to your name in Jesus' name. Father, we plead for mercy. In any way we have sinned against you, O God, Father, may you forgive us. For Lord, may you have mercy upon us, O God. Wash us with the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Cleanse us in the name of Jesus. Father, we have gathered, O Lord, to learn at your feet. We ask, may you give us your spirit. May he minister unto us. May he teach us and remind us of, of all things, that the end, your name alone shall be glorified. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. We are still continuing with the team, dwelling in the lost bunker dwelling in the lost bunker and today we shall be looking at benefits of dwelling in the lost bunker benefits of dwelling with the lost bunker having discussed the concept of the lost bunker access to the lost bunker how to dwell in the lost bunker now when you have done all those things what will you stand to gain? What will be your benefit? You know, every businessman, businesswoman, after everything, will always ask, what will be my benefit? Just as Peter and the brother asked Christ. So if I follow you, at the end, what do we gain? So we have learned all this. I want to know the benefits of the lost bunker. The Lord will give you insight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's take our key test. 
Psalm chapter 91, verse 1. Psalm chapter 91, verse 1. I read, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You see, the benefit is coming out on its own. When you dwell in the secret place of God, the Bible says well, you will abide under the shadow, under the covering, under the protection of God. Now, one of the benefits of dwelling in the lost bunker is deliverance. When you dwell in Christ, when you dwell in the protection of Christ, you have deliverance. Let's look at Psalm chapter 91, verse 3. Psalm 91, verse 3. And he says, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the faller and from the noisome pestilence. He shall deliver you. When? When you dwell in the secret place of God, which is Christ. When you live in Christ, living in Christ, you are already in the presence of God. And when you are in the presence of God, the Bible says that what He will deliver you. We are in the world of so many issues, so many problems. You are going out, so other many things are going after you. Spirits are walking after you. Just as the devil was moving helter skelter up and down. He doesn't have a focus looking for those that he would devour, looking for those that he will accuse. That is how the life, the, the kind of challenges we are facing today is. When you don't look for, they will look for you. That is just it. But the Bible says that if you dwell in the secret place of God, that word, you receive what? Deliverance. From both the physical and the spiritual. In fact, the worst of it all is the spiritual aspect. Because everything that happens to a man in the physical has already been concluded in the spiritual realm. That is the real war. The war we are in is just a mirror. It's, it's, it's a mirror of the spiritual war. The spiritual war is the real war where decisions are being made. Remember the case of Job. He was in a physical world just as you and I. But what was happening? Already his case was being in the spirit. There was an argument in the spirit. But the man was here enjoying with his children. He didn't know what was happening. But what happened? God gave him what? Deliverance. And I pray for you. I pray for you watching me now. That the Lord will deliver you. In all your problems, whatever you are going through, Jesus Christ will deliver you. He will send a helper to you, both physical and spiritual. He will be there to give you deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Look at another kind of benefit that you will get, that I will get as soon as we dwell in the place of God as soon as we abide in his shadow is protection. Protection. Very, very important. In the, in the deliverance aspect, maybe you are already in the field. You are already battling. One man or one spirit may have given it to you. Then God will come and rescue you. He will deliver you. But this aspect is that it will not even come close to you. They will just be there roaming about. God will protect you from them. That when they throw their arrow, God will wage it for you. Or when they throw, even when it touches you, it will look as if you're putting on bulletproof. Protection is a key. Now let us read Psalm chapter 91, verse 4. Psalm chapter 91, verse 4. Say, he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth, 
shall be thy shield and buckler. See, protection. When God spreads his wing, nothing can penetrate it. I mean, nothing can penetrate it. Now, let me give you one analogy. When I was still a boy, at the age of six, I saw this that is still disturbing me to date. We have a dog, dog, and that dog lay eggs. Then what happened is that we wonder where the chick, chick, where fowl egg also came in, and where the dog ashes. What happened? We saw one chick amongst the others, and they were all moving. We discovered that this dog loved the chick more than our own children. Every time they would be moving, and we saw kite one day, one faithful day. Kite now came to carry the chick because he cannot carry the dog children. So as soon as he picked the chick, the dog had to follow the kite in the air. They were fighting. They were fighting until what happened? The dog was um, already defeated the, the, the kite and brought down the chicks, safe and sound. Now, you can imagine the kind of protection that wings of common animal could do. Then imagine the wing of God. Remember how the Bible described God, that he's so big that where we are living, this big, this whole world is where, where, he, kept, where he keeps his food. So mighty. The way he now spread his two hands, what will happen? You can imagine that. How big this God is. How powerful he is. Why not try him? And see if he will not protect you. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, another benefit is courage. When you trust in God, when you live in his protection, you will have courage. You will not fear anything. Nothing will make you fear. Verse 5 of that same chapter, 91, says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. You shall not be afraid of it. Brothers and sisters, why are you afraid? And what is that thing that is terrifying you, that is making you fear? The Bible is promising you that if you abide in Christ, you should not be afraid because they cannot do anything to you. Look at even the devil. He has to come and meet God to beg him to seek for permission to touch you, which means your life is hidden very far. No man, no woman can destroy you if only you don't destroy yourself. May the Lord answer your prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Another one is, he said he will assign his angel to take charge over you. Many of us have been paying money for security personnel to guide you, guide your family. And yet, after some time, you hear that there was a gunshot somewhere. They killed the driver or they even killed the person they are protecting. Which means the protection of man cannot save you, cannot save me. It is only God. He said that what? That he would send his angel, a spiritual being, to keep you, to protect you. As you trust in God, may that protection, may angel take charge over you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. He said again, when you pray, that he will answer your prayer. When you pray to God, he will listen to you. He will answer you. You can see that in verse 15 of Psalm 91. When you, anytime you call upon him, he will answer you. Then he said he will honor you. He will honor you. That is only if you dwell in his bunker. It's where you, like Job, God did not only protect the life of Job and his family. He also honored Job. That in all sides, he increased him. And that was why the devil was very, very angry. And was complaining. That it's not just that you protected this man. 
you put a hedge around him. You also prospered him. The Lord said he will honor you. I pray for you that God will honor you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will give you honor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And finally, he said when you dwell in the bunker of God, that he will give you long life. Long life is very, very important. Many of us, why the world is like this, that nobody wants to die. Everybody wants to live. Even when you see bad things, you keep quiet. Because what? You are afraid of death. God said he will give you long life. That means when you see evil, say it. That is when you are in Christ. When you are rooted in the protection of Christ. Say he will give you, satisfy you with long life. May the Lord give you long life. As many of you that are lying in hospital bed, the Lord will visit you today. The Lord will give you life. The Lord will give you good health. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. I want you to pray and thank God for yet another opportunity to hear his word. Thank him for all his promises upon you. Thank him for all the benefits, for all the good things he has been giving to you, has been giving to me. All these things we mentioned, God, we have already been enjoying it. It is by the mercy of God. Thank him. Thank him. I'm saying, Father, today I commit myself more to you. I rededicate my life to you. For all these things that I've heard, that Lord, I give you myself the more. May you keep me. May you take absolute control over me, over my family. Pray and commit today in the hand of God. Ask God to keep you. As you go out, you will not fall victim. You will not be a child of circumstances. That evil will not befall you. Pray and commit your families in the hand of God. Commit the church of God and commit your nation wherever you are. Pray for your nation that it will be well with your nation. That all these promises the Lord has given to us will be the portion of your nation. But when it's well with your nation, it will be well with the church and it will be well with you. Pray for your nation. Is there anything, any secret thing you have in mind that you have been asking of the Lord? Can you present it to God? He will do it for you. As far as you are in his protection, everything about you concerns him. He will take care of you. He will take care of you. Round up your prayer with thanksgiving. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. In the time of trouble, thank you, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. For everything you have done in the time of sickness. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Father, we thank you again. 
Lord, we cannot thank you enough for all that you have been doing for us. Even for what you are doing right now. Even for what you are about to do. Lord, we thank you. We give you glory. We honor you. We fear you, Lord. We worship you. Be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, I commit your children, O Lord, in your mighty hand. Father, I pray, O God, may you keep them. May you prosper them. In all sides, just like you prosper Job, Father, may you prosper them. May you increase them. May you shelter them. The evil ones will not see them. Every arrow that they have thrown at them, Lord, I reverse it to the sender. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your protection be upon them. Let your protection be upon their family. Let your protection be upon the church, O oh God. And let your protection be upon our nation. Father, O oh God, may you fight for them and give them victory. As many that are in hospital bed right now, I decree healing upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, King of glory, for you have answered our prayer. Be thou exalted, Lord. Be thou exalted, Father. In Jesus' most precious name, we pray. Amen. Thank you, viewer, for yet another day for how you've been with us. I will still encourage you to keep trusting this God. Collect for the week. Collect for Trinity 3. Almighty God, you have broken the tyranny of sin and have sent the spirit of your son into our hearts, whereby we call you Father. Give us grace to dedicate our freedom to your service that all mankind may be brought to the glorious liberty of the sons of God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm.